Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the infinite scroll feature inside of Cray Studio Pro. All right, so let's take a look at my timeline. And in my first example, I've got the horizontal text, right? So if I push play, the text is going across screen there, um, and we've got a news reporter. So it fits the scene, but it's a great way to get a message across um, to showcase something you want the audience to see, all right? So in the next example, we've got the vertical text. And again, same scenario, except this is more of like a sale ad, right? So we've got the 50% off, got the shop now we changed the colors of the banners there but the infinite scroll is continuing to go and send that message that we want all right so let's start from scratch and show you how to do this so I'm gonna take get rid of these guys and let's go back to the news reporter here so I've got my news reporter clip and I want to add my infinite scroll so the first thing I want to do is I want to go over to my components open them up and then scroll down and look for the infinite scroll um, component there and once I find it Go ahead and left click and drag it onto your canvas. All right, so once you got it there, go ahead and line it up with your video clip that you have. So it's the same duration as the video clip, that way it plays out nicely. And then from there, once you have that infinite scroll selected, you can then drag your uh, scroll to wherever you want it to start or be, right? So maybe you want it to be on the side, maybe you just want it to be here, you want it to be in the top corner. That's up to you, right? So I'm gonna have it be the length of my, um, of my canvas here. So I'm just gonna drag it down to the bottom and then using your resizing squares here, you can then uh, drag this out to the right and then drag this out to the left here, just to be this, the length of the of my canvas. All right, so then if I have, once I have that done, I can keep my infinite scroll selected and come over here to your settings. And then here's where you can change your text, right? So I'm gonna have it say uh, breaking news. And then now when I press play, you know, it scrolls across screen. All right, so now we have some options and we can tweak this even more and customize it to the way we want it to be. So right now I can see that my speed was a little too fast. So if I want to adjust the speed, I can come over here right below where I added the text. And right now it's sitting at 15%. Maybe I want it to sit at about seven. All right, so when I do that, it slows it down. It's a little more manageable to read, right? So kind of keep that in mind too. If you've got a lot of text and you want them to read it, you know, make that speed duration um, appropriate so that way that it's not like flashing too fast, right? And then below uh, below that, we've got the margins, so we can then, you know, it's the distance between um, the last uh, letter or, or, or symbol that you have and then to the next phrase, right? So if I pull this out, it gets a little wider across right in here. Um, but that's up to you, that's personal choice, right? How, how wide of a gap do you want before the next word comes in again? Um, so I'm just gonna leave about right here and that's looking pretty good for me. Orientation, that's where you can change whether you want this to be horizontal or vertical, and we'll get into vertical here in a second. Backwards changes the direction of the text, right? So right now, um, the text is playing, it's going to the left of the screen. If I turn on backward, it will move towards the right of the screen. So preferences, like I said, just depends on what you're looking to do, but the option is there and the features are there inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so once you got that chosen, then you can come over here and look at your fonts you can always adjust your fonts you can look at them in google you can then add personal fonts that you do have so there's lots of flexibility there um, you can then change your text color so if i click on text color then i can you know move my cursor change my wheel uh, change it to any color i want right so you can do it that way um, you can then also change your background color so maybe you don't want it to be red you can select your background color go to a different hue color and then you know drag accordingly right so the options are always there um, to manipulate and to make it and fit the scene that you're trying to make, right? All right, so once I got that, I can adjust my spacing, which is the spacing between letters. Um, I can look at my V padding, right? So that kind of takes the text down a little bit. Um, your scale is there too. Um, you can make it go right to left um, if, if that's what you wanted to do. Um, but there's lots of different options to manipulate your text, change the colors, uh, adjust the fonts and make them however you want. Um, you can also change your properties, your borders, you can add shadows. So if you really want to get in there and customize, the options are there for you. All right, so that is how you can um, work with horizontal infinite scrolls, right? Um, and if you wanted to stay organized, maybe you had multiple scrolls like we're going to have here in a second, you can rename them. And so you can right click on those and go to rename and you can just call it what it says. We can call it, you know, breaking news. That way we know that that's the infinite scroll with that text in it, right? All right, so now let's look at the infinite vertical scroll, right? So let's go ahead and move over to my next clip here. 
And I want to go ahead and go back to my components and I'm going to go ahead and find my infinite scroll. And I'm going to left click and drag it back onto my canvas here. All right, so it automatically comes in as a horizontal, but um, we can change that to be vertical here in a second. But let's go ahead and uh, adjust our timing here to match the length of our video clip. And then now if I select my infinite scroll, come over here to settings, I can go to my orientation and I can uh, click on that drop down and then select vertical. All right, now once I got vertical selected, I can then come over here and move this uh, to whichever side of the screen I choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this one to the left and then just like that. And then with it still selected, come over here and let's change the text. So whatever you wanna add for your text, I'm gonna make this one say 50% uh, off. All right, so I've got that text added and I don't want this red in here, so I'm gonna change the background. So let's scroll down here in our settings, open up our background color, and then I'm gonna select my eyedrop tool here and I'm gonna select anywhere in this pink bag. So now I've got this kind of pink color going on and maybe if it's not the exact hue that you're looking for, you can always drag your, uh, your color wheel here and just kind of make it a little darker or you can go a little lighter. But I'm gonna go about right there. And then that's looking pretty good, right? So if I press play, I've got my 50% off. And there's one thing I do notice, I do want my text to kind of pop a little bit more off the background, I should say. So I'm gonna select my infinite scroll here. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to go to my border. And then I'm gonna adjust the width to be about three and let's change the color to be black, right? Just to show you how you can kind of play around with the text too and kind of make things pop off screen a little bit more. Um, so there we go. So I changed the uh, the border on it. So now it's got a black border. And if I press play, um, the only thing I need to do to that though is adjust the speed. So if I select my infinite scroll again, go to settings and then my speed is at 15% right now. Let's make it about seven. And then let's come over here and press play. And that's looking a little better. All right. So now what I wanna do is I wanna add another infinite scroll to the right side of my screen, all right? So I could go ahead and come over here to components and then drag another infinite scroll in and redo the whole process, or I could make it easier on myself and I can duplicate this and then tweak it from there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, let's go ahead and actually before I rename it, let's duplicate it. So I'll select my infinite scroll, come over here to duplicate, and then click duplicate. Now you can see it made a copy of it and uh, Let's just grab one of them and let's move it to the right side of the screen. All right, so now we have two 50% off vertical infinite scrolls, right? But I'm gonna change the text on this one. So what I'll do is on this bottom one, this is this side, because if I select it, I can see it gave it the little highlight around it. So let's go ahead and right click it and rename it and let's call it, let's just say this one is the 50% off uh, text right there. So I know that this is the one on the left side. All right, so on this one, we're gonna rename this one. Um, we're gonna name it uh, Shop Now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Rename and then hit Shop Now. And then what I can do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and select this and if I play this back, you'll see that you know it's doing exactly what I want. I've got it organized um, with two different text files here so I know what I'm working with uh, and which one I'm selecting. So I'm gonna select Shop Now and I need to adjust the text because it still says 50% off for my duplicate of the uh, of the first 50% off, right? So I'm gonna select shop now, delete it, and then I'm gonna call it shop now. All right, so now my text is good. And if I play that back, I've got the look that I'm going for. Now, the only thing I wanna do is I wanna change the background color on my shop now here. So I'm gonna select shop now, go to my settings, scroll down and go to background color. And then I'm gonna change the eyedrop here or select it and then choose somewhere in this blue bag. All right, now if you don't like the color that it gave you, you can always use your color wheel and darken it up a little bit or lighten it up, depending on what you're looking for, right? So that's looking pretty good. Um, so now if I press play, now I've got a good feel. I've got two different colors, kind of match the video a little bit, and uh, I've got a good little ad that I can start working with. All right, so that is how you can utilize the vertical infinite scroll, um, how to change the color, adjust the text, um, and then you can also how to uh, adjust the horizontal, right? So for this breaking news, for this news clip. Um, and a lot of this stuff can be used to kind of grab an audience's attention and really bring the audience into what you're trying to get them to see. All right, so that is how you can utilize these cool features inside of Creative Studio Pro. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch you on the next tutorial.